Alright guys, so today I was going to show you how I made a custom enclosure for my 2003 Tacoma. I've taken some pictures from another build that I found online a long time ago. It was for probably a 1999 or so Tacoma, uh, but mine's going to be pretty similar. So these pictures are not mine. These are ones that I've copied essentially. Uh, but just so you can see, this is pretty much how I started my build. I just didn't get pictures of it, so I thought I'd add his. So you can see how I did it. Now the only difference is that my console opens in the middle in the middle as well as on the top. You can see there it's a little different but this is the kind of the start of the project here. I kind of followed the same rules as far as the sides and the back and building the little box except for there's some minor differences internally you can see but all together it came out pretty much the same. Then you can kind of see on the side there where I added underneath the where the speaker actually sits, I added a third ring just to give it some the screw some more meat to go through. So you can see there's three and I think he only did two. So that's probably the only difference. That's just a look on the inside. And now you'll see where I've added some bondo after I did some some resin on top of felt to uh, fill in the closure. If you watch his video, I can put a link to it. He actually did it a little differently, uh, but I did some resin on top of felt, and then I followed that with Bondo, just to fill in all the gap, make sure it was airtight. I did some more felt with resin, fiberglass resin on the inside as well. Okay, so after scouring the web for days now, I have not been able to find anybody that could show me how to wrap with carpet a custom enclosure with some pretty crazy contours and curves so I'm uh, figuring it out I think um, I saw a YouTube video of somebody that made one for a Tacoma which is what I've made this for 2003 and uh, it was completely carpeted and looked like it was shrink wrapped on there it was amazing um, I have made the box but I have not found a video to show me how to do this so it's a learning curve but I thought I could possibly help somebody else out there that was looking to wrap with carpet and enclosure that is freaking custom like this one so uh, let me kind of show you how I'm doing okay so really the key is to spray the adhesive I'm using this Loctite spray adhesive it's the medium uh, let's see media or middle high initial tack there's a there's one that's higher than that but that seems to be working fine so you spray underneath obviously and then what you'll do is you almost need two people to do this, but if you pull really hard with one hand and then just work out the creases that are being formed, ever so, try to make the creases as small as possible. So for example, this big huge crease here is just way too big to actually seat because it'll cause a bigger one here and a bigger one down here, another ripple effect. So you basically are going to pull as tight as you freaking can and get these ripples to almost splay out to where they're t smaller and then you just kind of use your fingers it's really important that you actually are feeling what you're doing uh, and then actually after I've done that I've gone back over because you can see some tiny little little ripples here and I'm going back with a putty knife or a bondo little thing here and just really squeegeeing almost all those ripples out it seems to be working <laughs>
this whole side for the most part. Didn't want to bore you with watching me do that whole thing, but as you can see, it does work. It's just very time consuming, but you're going to get a custom look and it's going to be one of those things where someone looks at it and says, how the freak did you do that? Because that's what I thought. And uh, I found that it works really w a lot better if you get as far up into where the crease is starting as possible and pulling it and then just kind of working it out before it even becomes an issue. So, and you, and you literally are kind of thinking one inch at a time, one inch at a time, all the way down. So it's a s slow and tedious process, but like I said, it'll give a good result unless you want to be painting and my Bondo job is not good enough to paint. So um, hopefully this will come together and I'll show you the finished results.